The first step in using the 3D printer is to uh, design the part that you have in mind um, in a 3D um, CAD software. Here I have used SolidWorks and as you can see this is the part that I want to print today. After designing the part you have to save the file in a specific format which is uh, .stl. Um, and uh, after um, saving the file, you, you can um, upload the file to the machine. The interesting thing about this machine is that you can uh, access the machine through internet from anywhere. And um, you have to log in into the machine and uh, fill in the information uh, about the project and then uh, you have to upload the file that uh, you have created with the CAD uh, software that you have been using. Well, uh, here you can arrange um, the part uh, in a way that you want it and you can also uh, copy several uh, version of your Part and so that you can have like uh, more than one part in one uh, fabrication. Now I'm gonna add um, rotate the file. And then uh, put it wherever on the build pad uh, you know um, the arrangement of the parts are very important and um, they're, uh, they affect the time that it takes for the fab uh, fabrication and also sometimes the, the precision of the part um, depends on the arrangement of the uh, part that have has been used in this uh, part. Okay. Then uh, we submit the, the the job to the machine and we'll, it will automatically start to generate support points for the part and also it will um, divide the part to like uh, layers and it will upload the file to the machine. Well, at this point, um, uh, um, the, the software is ready um, to start the job, but we also have to 
we also have to put the building pad in the machine and I'm going to show you how. Well, fabrication of each part um, is uh, uh, happening on this build pad and you have to install this uh, build pad into the machine every time that you want to uh, use it. And I'm going to show you how. It's pretty simple and you just have to put uh, the part that has like a rubbery cushion toward up and then uh, uh, there is like a, a clip that holds the build pad. Well, then you will um, close the door, and uh, as you can see, here um, the job is ready to be started, and this one takes um, one hour and 37 minutes to be built. So I'm going to start this and I'm going to show you uh, the outcome in a uh, um, couple hours. Well, uh, the printing part is over and now I'm going to open the door and see um, the outcome of the printing. As you can see, the part is uh, printed on the build pad, and uh, I'm going to take it out now. This is the part that, uh, as you can see, is built on support uh, and now the first the next step is to um, wash the um, the part in this solution and uh, you have to, it, it will take like uh, 15 minutes so I'm gonna put it um, here Put it down there. Use this one for this part since it's a little shorter. Well, the the reason that we have to wash the part is because um, there are some residue left on the part and. Um, by washing it with uh, proper solvent, uh, we get to make it ready for the um, curing part. Well, uh, the, the washing part is over, and now what we have to do is to uh, remove the, uh, the part from the build pad and put it in the uh, curing oven. Uh, I'm going to use this tool and uh, slowly uh, breaking the supports for the part and uh, now this is the part and these are the supports point um, that um, I have to remove before uh, curing. make sure that there is no like residue or um, any broken uh, pieces in any of the channels or any of the cavities in the part 
um, before putting it in the um, oven. Well, uh, the time that you need to put the part in the oven depends on the size of the uh, part and uh, for this size and for two samples I'm gonna put it in, in the UV oven for like um, 15 to um, 20 minutes and then uh, the part will be ready okay now uh, the parts are um, clean and uh, dry as you can see and uh, now I'm gonna put them in the UV oven here as uh, you can see them and uh, then uh, I will uh, uh, change the setting and put the setting for uh, uh, Fifteen minutes, and then it's um, the oven is on, and in fifteen minutes our parts will be ready. Uh, well, as you can see, the whole uh, fabrication procedure um, didn't take more than um, two three hours, and um, uh, I believe you can use this method for many different parts um, and uh, you can always contact me uh, and, and I will help you with the, um, with the whole um, process and always and also the, the right arrangement of the part. Thank you and um, hope to hear from you.